beekeeping can be a sweet hobby for both kids and adults alike. Hi, I'm Georgia Nelson, and I'm from Grady County 4-H Group. Today, I'll be giving you the buzz on essential beginner beekeeping equipment. Do you like my suit? No, I'm not wearing a coronavirus hazmat suit. I'm wearing my bee suit. Beekeepers put these over their clothes when they go to harvest honey. It's thick and made of canvas, so bees cannot get their stingers through it. And it's white for two reasons. The first reason is that if you're, a lot of times you're harvesting honey in the summer, and if you wear darker colors, um, you're gonna be a lot warmer than if you wear white colors, and so white's a reflective color. And the second reason is that if you wear dark colors, the bees will think you're a big bear coming to steal their honey, and they'll start attacking. This is a bee hat, and this is a bee net. The bee hat is white for the same reasons as the suit, and it keeps your head protected from the bee stings, and it keeps the sun, helps the sun stay off your head. And then the net goes over the hat like that, and then you put it on, and on the bottom of it, there's this zipper, and it connects to a zipper right here on your suit. And you zip them together, and bees can't get up inside, so it protects your face and neck from being stung by bees. These are bee gloves. The arms are made of canvas to give your arm an extra layer of protection and it's white for the same reasons as the suit. And the palm and fingers are leather, so it's durable and the bees cannot get their stingers through. This is a picture of a beehive. This is the stand, so it sets on there and keeps the hive up off the ground. And then this is the bottom board, and that's where bees land when they come in from out getting nectar. And then this is a deep super, and that's where all the eggs are laid and hatched. And then on top of that is a queen excluder, and that keeps the queen from getting up into the rest of your hive and laying her eggs, because when that happens, it um, makes the wax a lot darker in color and thicker harder to harvest. And then up here are honey supers. That's where the honey is kept. And then on top of those is an inner cover, which keeps out a lot of pests. And on top of that is the outer cover, and it keeps out the wind and the rain. This is a real super. Inside of supers are frames. There are about 10 frames her standard super, and this is what one would look like when you put it in, and this is just the foundation, and it looks like this before the bees draw their wax on it. And this is what one looks like once they have drawn their wax on it. It's like that on both sides, and this is the honeycomb, and in some spots it's darker than others, and that's because there was not a queen excluder on this hive and the queen got up in there and laid her eggs. This is a smoker. Beekeepers put kindling or newspaper inside and start a small fire and then they close the lid and they pump the bellows. This is called a bellow. And when they do that, there's a little hole in the bottom and it pushes cool air in and keeps the fire kindling and then it pushes smoke out the top. Once you have a good fire going in there, you put it at the entrance to the hive and you pump the bellows and it gets smoke going in through the hive. And a lot of people will tell you that when you do this, it calms the bees. 
but it really makes them think that there is a fire somewhere around their hive and then they may need to go and start another hive if their hive catches on fire. So they gather their stomachs up with honey so that way they'll have enough food to survive if they have to leave. Fun fact, when a bee has his stomach filled up with honey, he cannot curl his abdomen around to sting you. Once you have enough smoke going through the hive, um, you quit smoking it, and then you take um, the outer cover off of your hive, and then you pry open the inner cover with a hive tool. It's a lot like a crowbar, and you just pry open the inner cover. And why you have to do this is because a bee makes a yellowish glue called propolis to keep the inner cover closed so that way the wind cannot get into their hive. Then you take off the top super and then you brush bees off the edge using a bee tool and or a bee brush and you um, brush them away to keep them from getting squashed when you put the inner cover and the outer cover back on and it's a very soft brush sole brush and it does not hurt the bees it just gently pushes them out of the way so then, once you have all of this done, you go back to wherever you harvest your honey and you start heating up a hot knife. So a hot knife takes caps off the honeycomb, and I will tell you about that in a minute. And you plug it in and then the blade starts getting hot. It's not a sharp blade, it's just very hot. So what I mean by it takes the caps off the honeycomb is that bees put caps on their honeycomb to keep the honey from coming out. So once the hot knife, knife is hot, you take it and you put it on the edge and you just gently push it down and it melts the uh, wax, any wax that sticks out past the wood of the frame and so then the caps come off and some honey will come off with the comb that you cut off when you do this, but you, um, you let that drain out of there. So then, once you have your frames uncapped on both sides, you put them inside of a honey extractor. And a honey extractor has a little spout on the side for letting honey out, and it's a metal, drum and some are motorized and some are hand crank. So then inside of them is a rack with this can spin around with slots on it where you put the frames. And so then once you have it filled up with frames, you close the lid and start cranking it or you turn it on depending on what kind you have. And it uses centrifugal force to sling the honey out of the frames and into the side of the drum. So then, once that's all done, you open up the spout and you let the honey drain out into whatever you're putting it, it in. This book is called Bzz, A Beekeeper's Primer by Evelyn Fatigati. And this book and many others on beekeeping can most likely be found at your local library. And all of this equipment can be found at your local hardware or country store or online.